Alright, let's get out of the way. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment if you like. What happened in Kamikatsu working for God in a godless world? Well, it started off pretty dang fucking different than I thought. So the main character's dad is going to toss him off of a cliff so he can prove to everyone that when he survives, he can rule against everyone. But damn, all these buff dudes toss him and shit. Damn. And what a fucking joke. He says, this is murder. He gives him a big thumbs up and says, it's a ritual. And then he just gives up and says, yeah, you know what? You're right, I guess. And they just toss him the fuck off. I can't believe his dad's so messed up that he would toss his own son knowing that he's probably going to die down there. It's because his dad thinks that God's going to save him when he's down there and he doesn't. So his life's passing him by down there thinking about all his life and what he's done. He's thinking, wow, my life has been pretty shitty down here. So the last thing he thought about when he was just passing away is that he was watching porn. And he says, God, please, in the next life, let there be a world where there's no God and no religion. So after fainting, he wakes up and he's feeling something very strange. And here it is, the big clip every YouTuber is probably going to use on their channel. She starts wagging his tail. Because I guess she read in that book that she's fucking reading. And she's like, this would be interesting to do. And because she touched his tail, she becomes his fucking maid and she takes him to a bar. And you won't guess what's at the bar. Just some fucking losers drinking a crap ton. That's typically what you'd probably see normally. But our main character thought that this is a guild and he was going to become some Eskai protagonist. But nope, it's just some regular drunks just chilling. But for some reason he doesn't fucking figure out that it's not an Isekai and he just has to start working. He starts working thinking he's going to level up or something's going to happen. But nope, just a bunch of people tell him what to do. Then he meets this guy who says, all the girls here are mine. You don't get to talk to them at all. That's a terrible way to live a life, I feel. And then he finally figures out about 10 minutes in that he's not reincarnated into a world that he likes. So after he figures out that, no, this is not the type of isekai where you're going to be in a harem, you're going to somehow be able to have this overpowered thing, then he starts drinking a lot and he's thinking, oh, this fucking sucks. Everyone here is really annoying. I made some friends, but I don't really like them. And the lady who runs this place is pouring a bunch of beer on these dumb guys. And so he's isekai to a world where he has to work and then he goes and gets drunk and then he works again and that's the cycle. And he's thinking, that's not what I signed up for. Then one day, a really bad CGI monster comes and it fucking ruins the show for me. This looks like they didn't have the budget to make an actual monster, but they didn't want to just draw some weird one. So they just decided to go with the fake bull. But we didn't see coming is the guy that he was working with on the farm knows something. And he pulls out a magic book and he says, are you ready to see this? And he says, do you have magic or something? And then he says, ready for my spell? Run! And then of course he's saying, how are you that weak? If this is an East Kai world, why aren't you using your magic? We don't stand a chance against that beast. So he basically gives up on his dream of being the generic East Kai protagonist. Because one, they don't heal. They just wrap your wound, just like in real life. So he says, you know what? I'll just be like the rest of the people and just drink my heart out. So him and his new best friend drink a shit ton and he outdrinks him for some reason. Even though I don't think he's a drinker. And he's so fucking drunk they think it's a win by outdrinking this guy. He got so drunk, this guy threw up his beer and all that shit. So then he goes on this quest where he has to go and find pornography books for these guys. Because I guess in this world, just the slightest bit of anything could be considered pornography. While that's not scary, they find this crowd and he goes inside to see what's going on there. And he figures out that the government's actually killing people. And he's like, why? Why is this happening in this place? And so they explain to him that in this world, if the government wants you dead, you're dead. And so the blonde guy says, you know what, don't even worry about it, That we're special, that doesn't even happen to us. So to forget that whole scene, then at night, he finally gets his first isekai generic scene, where he's sleeping and then the isekai girl comes into his bed. So she wants to use him so she can try the things that she reads in her dirty books. Clearly she likes some shit that's really crazy and you can't talk about on YouTube. So she explains to him that they're outcasts and the government doesn't really care for them. And he says, I don't really care about that. But she points out that he has a stone. And he tells her that this is the only thing is left from his world. And then he just gives it to her. Just bam. That's my dad gave me that. But now it's yours. So the girl that he gave the necklace to is ordered to die. And everyone says, I'm not going to stand here. I'm going to go and fight this. So everyone gets their ass kicked and they still capture her. And so the main character goes over there on some fake monster. And he tries to go and save her. Throughout all his efforts, they still kill her. And then they kill him. So with the stone that his dad gave him. He summoned the god. And the god is this really cute goddess girl who comes down and says, Alright, I'll punish everyone here. So she ends up killing the bad guys, saving the good guys. And now that they're both revived, now they're thinking, Whoa, I can't believe this world's actually a thing. And now he's going to have to live with this goddess forever. Alright guys, that's the end of this episode. Peace. <laughs>